All right, guys. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the sawmill horde. Now, this horde is a tough one, but uh, there's a lot of way around it without too much struggle. It just may be a little time consuming if you're looking to just get by it without taking too much damage and progressing the game if you're stuck. Because, I mean, the last thing you want to do is be stuck in these open world games. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a lowdown. I kind of already got it all set up, so I can kind of talk to you guys through it real fast. So I can finish it off uh, without too much hiccup and taking too much of the clock. And so I'm going to go through it right now. So I'm going to draw myself back up to the sawmill and tell you the setup that is currently still in play. It's active because um, that's kind of one of the, the issues I'm talking about with the... Uh, I don't want to call them glitches, but I guess some of the tips and tricks of the game. So in case you don't know, that um, every time you... Uh, oh, actually, what I forgot to do. Uh, every time you sleep five times... Every time you sleep five times uh, in your bed, it resets all the items. Okay? So once I learned that, I kind of went into this to this battle with no equipment and I was failing miserably with like no equipment trying to battle them way through I'd run out and they would just overtake me every time um, so I need to figure out a way and, I, and then I saw some st I started hunting around I found a lot of stuff and then that's when I kind of came up with this this method to do it it's kind of takes a method that already exists and adds an element of accident that I came up with. Hey Blair, how are things in the gun trade? Uh, due to uh, mistake. So uh, I'm gonna ref choice. refuel my ammo real yeah, fast. Okay. Like I said, I'm about to finish off this whole section, but I'm gonna talk Good you through luck. exactly what I did right. during this scene. So this straight. is what happens during this scene, okay? so. You're, go, you're probably going to be driving to it on the bike at some point. It's called it's the Sawmill Horde. It's, it's towards the end. So we're going to go back up. I'm going to set my map target to make sure I know where I'm going. Because I'm a literate person from the distance and travel. Okay, so you drive up to the Sawmill. Oh no. you got to be careful though because these stupid dogs chase you down all right so if you see that top bar like i said i already kind of got started so when you get to this point of the game okay i'm going to talk you through like i said i took care of most of it so i can show you what i did so i walked into it completely just depleted i had like i think two molotovs two of the big bigger molotovs and that was it so when, once you do that okay and you come over here you're Every, every the horde is going to be in two locations. Okay, two locations. I'm going to show you exactly where they are because right now they're in a spot that I kind of I put them in. Oh, actually no, look, they went back. Okay, cool. So anyway, this is where they'll end up. If you sleep, this is what happens. So they're going to be right there, where they currently are now. You see them in my map, right there. Or if it's the daytime. They will all be in this building right here. Okay. They'll be in this building. And um, every time you come up here, after five times of sleeping, all the items will respawn. And then if you come up here, is where you can load up all of your items. Okay. You can load up all of your items that you don't already have. And once you do that, okay, again, so if you, if you, you're going to need everything. So as you can see, I kind of refilled a little bit already. I'm going to get the rest of my Molotovs with this, with this trip. So I'll be able to finish this off what's left. Because you can see on top bar, I took a lot of them out already. But what I came through with the first time, I found myself running around in circles and getting absolutely nothing done because I didn't have enough power. Um, but I took out just enough where I got to my bike and I drove back 
to this location, okay? Where it, once you sleep uh, the five times, it almost resets the, the horde back where they are. As you all see where they are right now, it reset them back where they are currently right now, which is outside. So there's no one inside. They'd be probably sitting all in here. And right now, I'm just kind of walking around. I'm going to get to the bottom floor, get the rest of my kerosene. Actually, I could probably, I'm going to be able to, actually, since I did that, I'm going to be able to perform exactly what I did. Now that I think about it, so watch this. So actually, I'm going to finish this off just right. So, let me show you exactly what I did. My kerosene's over here. More kerosene over here. I kind of used all my scrap, which is kind of a bummer. Because I was going to do another method as well. But, I can't, so. There we go. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I did since they're all sitting over there. So they're all sitting over there. So again, they're either going to be, show you one more time, in case you don't know, they're going to be sitting over here, right there, or they're going to be sitting in this building. When you first get here, again, when you first get here. So what I recommend, first of all, you're gonna run all the way around here. Show you all the way around without knowing me, without them seeing you. You have some like random freakers kind of hanging around that you might have to just blow through, which is fine. Or just run by them. See, this is the one trick that they said about hiding in here and just picking them off if you have enough gear. But the one that would save me a lot of trouble, which is, let me see if I can do it right now. You gotta be careful though. So like I said, there's usually random freaker. Pretty much chasing me right now, actually. There he is. But I have my little bat. Let me take him out real fast. Boom! Two hits. Okay. Oh, so it's already going off, actually. So, this is where I went. I was in, in this neuro camp right here okay I was in this neuro camp right here which I set off filling the gas tank with the siren and I pressed the button when you fill up the gas tank and press the button the whole horde ends up over here as you can well see what's going on now because of the sound so I basically get in here because you can get back here because the horde is basically sitting right over there. Okay, they sit over there again in this building. They'll be sitting here. So then you work your way all the way around to this to this area, and you pretty much you'll find a gas canister to press this button. But just know once you press that button, they are all coming down on you, all of them. So you got to be ready for that. Once they come down on you, okay? Once they come down on you, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So once they come down on you and you're standing right there, show you. We're gonna have a straight shot over this part of the fence right here. Straight shot, you run, run over here, and basically as they're running, they're gonna be running towards the sound, okay, towards the sound into here. They're basically gonna puddle up for you. Okay, they're gonna become a big mush, kind of like if you're using one of the attractor bombs, there's gonna be a big mush over there. You'll watch them all. What I did is I, I did camp here, and then I watched them all flood out. They all flood out right here. They came flooding out, and they ran all the way over there to the sound. And I was like, cool, free beans. And now they're all over there. So kind of like the attractor bomb, I know where they are now. So then what I ended up doing, okay, with my minimal, this is when I had minimal items. So I knew where they all were now. So now 
you can actually do one of two things at this point. So once you do that, you can go and sleep your five times every time and refill all your gear before you make your move because they either end up back in their horse spot or they might run back to the area. But I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So I had him in a spot. I ran this way. Here. We're going up, we're going up, we're going up. I ran up here. So that right now remember, so at this point, they're all flooding to that area. Now and then so then as you can see right here, once you get up here, you're going to see all of them. You'll be, you'll be able to see all of them about right here. You'll see all of them start to flood and trample all over each other and you're like cool they're all posted so it's just like the attractor glitch or the retractor trick that was already been posted in the book except now you don't have to waste those because you're going to be chilling if you have enough gear now this bush right here oh around me no okay. so this bush right here this is going to be your win for the bush so once, once they're all flooding here, they're going to make a big pile over this thing. So this thing's making noise and everything's here. It's going to be a zoo in there. This is the bush we have to quietly get to. Now, you may not realize how quiet you have to be at first because you may mess it up, but that's okay. Because once you do that, it's going to constantly trigger that as your checkpoint. Oh, there you are. So, it's gonna constantly trigger a checkpoint. Right? And then we can hide here. See, so we hide right here. And then, yeah, this is where you end up. And then, if you, get, if you have the gear, we pull these out, and we just start lob everything that we got. And you'll see. And, um, and they'll just be sitting here and waiting for you to take them out. So. That's how I did it with no gear um, initially and then now that I've kind of reset it and got my gear I took out most of them. So once I took out most of them with what I had left, they didn't know where I was. I just ran all the way back around to my bike. I ran back around and I got my bike. So that was it. So now what I'm going to do actually is see if I can get some scrap to finish this off. So watch, you'll see I kind of triggered a lot of it. See, this is this was like a little trigger scene. Uh, if I get some scrap from somewhere. Scrap. Be nice to get some scrap. Let's see. I mean, I'm pretty confident I can just go kill him. I'm just hoping they would make it a little easier for me. See, swarmer's ears. Blow up the canisters already. Come on, give me some scrap. Uh, let's see, nothing there. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna go for it. Here we go, let's finish this off now. So now I'm give you how to do it. Let's finish off the scene that I already kind of started because again, I just reset them. Because you can always reset them. Remember, you sleep five times, it resets them. If you sleep five times, it resets them. So I'm going to try and funnel them over here. Let's go to work. more to go apparently. Woo. I should 
should be able to take him out though. I'm pretty confident still. botch it now oh my god oh I botched it <laughs> okay I'm gonna do it again just cuz I'm pissed now that made me mad oh no oh oh that made me mad let me see where that puts me actually it's probably not a good thing where it put me <laughs> I can't let it ruin that anyway that's how you do it that was a mistake on my part. That was lazy gameplay. Uh, do I have everything still? Okay, go. Cool. I'm all set up still, so I can go pick up the things I need to do this. So you got to play through so I can watch me finish this off again. That was an accident on my part. Did not play that strategically as far as the aftermath. I'll do it. I'll do it right right now. Stupid. I got it. I should watch this. I know exactly how I'm gonna play this now that I have. I know exactly how many items I'm gonna have. Watch this. I'll finish this off right now. So guys, yeah, make sure you set it up the way I told you, and you'll be able to refresh these items to build your inventory if you feel like again. I didn't have enough. I literally had two of everything, and I found myself running around. I did as much damage as I could, and then. It got really obnoxious that I was getting nothing done, and then I got to my bike and just rode away. And then I just reset it. And then kept reset. and then I needed the item, so I kept resetting it. And that was it. Game, set, match. Good. Rather, uh, all right. So they're still resetted. I'm going to head over here. Up the rest of my kerosene and get this over with. There's more. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it the same way I just did it or have a different idea in my mind. Now that I have all this kerosene, I can just make the bigger Molotovs now. I think what do I have four. Hey, crap. Okay, cool. So I have enough to make six uh, whatever probably four more of these so let me do this again the right way make this quick watch that so I just set it up again they get reset it I'm gonna funnel them right here actually this was like a perfect little funnel area without an attractor because let me let my run replenish in case I botch it again and I ruin my idea sorry for this long playthrough this should have been a quick one should not be 20 minutes long, but I messed it up. Let's go to work. All right, let's do it. Right, let me make four more, like so. It'll probably funnel this way for me. Come on, funnel this way. There you go. Oh, 
forward. Oh, great. <laughs> All boxes again. Let's kill that one thing too. I hope not. That's annoying. Oh, really? Alright, there you go, it's over. So that's it. I'm gonna get rid of this thing now. This annoying, stupid, stupid thing. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Or just trigger the cutscene. So that's it. That's how you do it. Go get it. Enjoy.